Red Sea Reefer 170. It's been up and running for about a year and a bit now, and as you can see, it's a mixed reef. So we've got the zoas, levers, star polyps there, also some mushrooms. Got some LPS with the torch, hammer coral, got a branching coral. Um, also got some SPS at the top there. So it's a mixed reef, but everything seems to get on pretty well. So I do use carbon and phosphate remover. So to be fair, I've not had any real issues with it being a mixed reef. I know some people say it's more egg when you're doing it mixed, but you know, I can't keep to one style of coral. I'm lethal like that. So I do like to mix it up a bit, but everything seems to be getting on quite well. I do use the Radeon, I think it's the XR15 Pro. And when I first got it, I didn't know whether it was gonna be, you know, have a wide enough spread, but actually it's perfect for this size tank. I think it might be a, a 24 inch tank, not 100% sure, but it lights it fine, no issues whatsoever. I was using the Max Spec Razor before, which again was a decent light, but I want I did like the controllability that this come with. So, you know, if you run it off of the reef link with the app, when the app decides it wants to work, anyone that's used the app will know what I'm talking about. Um, but when it is up and running, it is working, it is really good. Also running a couple of Vortec pumps. So the black one's a wireless one, that's a new one I fit in today. I will be updating the old one and the usual Tunzi Auto top off. As I said, it's got a new pump on it, so some of the corals are skulking, they're not too happy that I've been pissing around with it to be fair, so with the flow, etc. In the sump, We've got a Deltec skimmer, it's the uh, DC, so I think it's the SC1351. It's an okay skimmer to be fair, I'm quite happy with it. Um, whether it's quiet, I've, I've done videos on DC pumps, it's okay, it's fine, it is quite quiet. I've got the Vertex media reactor, it's empty at the moment, it's still online, but it, it's too much for effort around with it. I was running my um, phosphate remover and carbon in there, but it's a lot of frapping about when you want to change it out. So I've gone to this little Aquamedic media reactor there. So that runs my phosphate remover. And in the back, I just have a bag of carbon to be fair. And I change it out quite regularly, not a problem. We've got the heater controller there. And I also use, don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Use a titanium heater. I was using Eheim heaters and they're good they're fine I use them on my freshwater tank but it was just I was having ag with the temperature to be fair it was only a hundred watt and with this being a 170 litre tank where it's not after displacement but it was just causing grief during the winter it was getting a bit it just wasn't keeping up with what I wanted it to so I've upgraded those now I do dose so That's my sort of dosing station. So I use the Kmore dosing pump. Really easy to use, really like it. <laughs> really, really good bit of kit. Great instructions. And that's my dosing containers there. That is a GHL Profilux. I've had that since I was doing high-tech planted tanks and you know they used to control my lights and, and the um, CO2, but it's an absolute pain. To be fair, at the moment, it is just literally a glorified plug um, socket controller. It's, they're a pain to um, do anything with, to be fair. They're, they're not user friendly at all. So, I mean, I do still have it running. Whether I'm gonna go to, with another aquarium controller, call it what you will, an Apex Neptune or something, I really don't know, I may do. But at the moment, I'm quite happy with what I've got. Anyone with a reef tank will know you need loads of cupboard space. So, I mean, you know, that's the tank, but that's the cupboard space that I've used and I have actually used it. So the first one's obviously for the dosing. This one has me bits and pieces with the uh, water reservoir. And these, well, it's just got odds and sods really. Food in that one, any utensils that I use. And this one has all the other junk in it. Test kits, carbon, all sorts. I'm lethal, I can't walk into a, a fish shop and not buy anything to be fair. So I do end up collecting a lot of stuff. I know it's 
you know, it's the worst thing you can do, just swap and change in this hobby, but um, I have got an habit of doing it, to be fair. I do try things and then, you know, I, I need to just pick something and stick to it. <laughs> so um, I'll probably do a video at some stage on all the crap that I've bought and how much of it you need to use and how much of it you really don't. And to be fair, it'd be like 15% of what I've probably got in them covers that you actually need. Um, anyone that does Reef Saints will know that, but there's so much stuff out there, it's a bit of an Aladdin's cave and um, I'm quite often like a kid in a toy shop when I um, go to these shops. That's my other tank over there, so that's my cichlid tank, that's 240 litres. And as I said, this was just a quick run for you through really, this Red Sea Reefer 170, up and running for about a year, year and a bit. Mixed corals, I've got four fish in there. Um, Five actually, don't even know what I've got. I've got two clowns, I've got a six line wrasse. I know that can be a bit territorial, but mine's been fine. I've got a coral blenny there. Oh, there's the wrasse. And also somewhere in here is a Bengal cardinal. Got two shrimps, I've got skunk, clean the shrimp, and I've also got, a, let's see if we can find him. Yeah, red shrimp, I forgot what they're called, you know. But yeah, so that they hang out, they get on all right together. No issues. A few snails, I did have some hermit crabs, but they sort of died off, to be fair. Um, I don't know how long they live, but I've definitely got none in there now. I've got this fella, which I absolutely love, he's amazing. That is a conch snail, and all day he will just work. He just, just, just up and down <laughs> um, with the sand, to be fair, and really, really, really good. I really like him. He's one of the best things I've got in there, to be fair, in regards to what he actually does for you. Um, but yeah, so, you know, mixed reef, couple of skulking corals. This torch has bleached out slightly. When I bought it, it was a really, you know, fluorescent green, amazing, got it home. Half of it really bleached, and the other half kind of semi-bleached, and it's never really, you know, come back to its color. I moved, I did have it up near the top, near this piece here, which again, looks like it is bleaching, so I'm probably gonna have to move that as well. Things seem to struggle in that place. Um, but yeah, so, you know, it has bleached, but it seems to be doing okay. It's not died off, so to speak, so we'll have to see how it goes. Maybe in a couple of months, it will sort itself out. Loads of different types of zoas. I do like zoas. Another plate in coral, star polyp. Um, little mushroom. It's quite difficult, because I, I know, you know, with the antics of the, the lights, it's quite difficult to see. Guy at the back there definitely ain't happy, so he, he might need moving as well. But yeah, you know, I'm, I'm growing all sorts of coral in here, and I'm quite happy with it. It is quite easy. I have quite a strict regime. So I do a, well, I do a 15% water change every week, so that's two 10 litre buckets. I actually use aquaforest salt. Really good, you can um, mix it up and use it in about 45 minutes, you don't have to leave it overnight. You're not supposed to leave it overnight. It's actually um, the biotic one that I use. It's quite cheap and it mixes really, really well. I mean, literally really well. I used to use Red Sea and it was just a pain. I really didn't get on with it very well at all. But this stuff is really good, it's amazing. If, any, if anyone's thinking about changing their salt, trying something different, if you can get hold of it, um, I think they're a Polish company, it's called Aquaforest. Try their salt, really good. I've tr used a few of their products to be fair and I'm, I'm quite happy with them. Um, when we dosing, I actually use fauna marine salts. Again, you know, they're quite good, but my, my, everything seems fine, so, you know, I have no issues with that. Um, outside of that, that's about it, really. It's just a quick update. Um, I've done videos on products in the past, but this is the first time I've actually shown the tank which some of these products are used on. If anyone's got any questions, you know, just leave a, leave a comment, like, subscribe, whatever you will. And um, I'll get back to you.